Walmart sells everything. They sell books, clothing, food, sneakers, everything is sold at Walmart. I'm sure most of you have been to Walmart at least once before. They have everything there. They're a huge competitor of Amazon as we all know. So in this video, I want to go on Walmart and show you guys the sneakers. Walmart started selling sneakers a few years ago. This isn't new. However, I never put it to the test. Are the sneakers real? Will you actually even get sneakers? And what are the prices like? Let's check out Walmart. Let's go sneaker shopping on walmart.com. I did make a purchase on Walmart. The package came in, so I just want to browse through Walmart with you guys. So make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get shopping on walmart.com. A quick disclaimer, I will be returning these sneakers because the price that I paid is absurd for this pair of sneakers. I wanted to buy something that was extremely hyped, a lot of demand to really see if it's real or not, and you know, what's the outcome gonna be. I also decided to purchase a sneaker sitting behind me that I have so that we can actually legit check it with a black light make sure everything looks good i'm going to compare it to the pair that is behind me so make sure you guys stay tuned let's go shopping on walmart.com so let's hop on walmart we'll start the screen recording right now so we are on walmart let's take a look at some jordan ones because i know everybody loves jordan ones right now let's see what walmart has to offer these prices are insane guys absolutely insane let's take a look at the royal toe jordan one Oh my goodness, look at these prices. Wow. So I'm like a 10 and a half or an 11. 542 for Royal Toe Jordan 1s, and this is United States dollars. Yikes, they are not $542 sneakers. Only one left? No way. <laughs> no way. Free delivery. I gotta find one. I did find one that had a return policy, which was dope. I would recommend just not even purchasing off of Walmart, not sneakers anyway, because these prices are absolutely absurd. Do what you want to do, check it out. But let's take a look at Royal Ones, another pair of Jordan Ones that I love, the Royals, man, from 2017. Wow. $4.99? I feel like that's not that bad. It's high, but I don't feel like it's that bad. I'm surprised on that one. But look at any other size, like $865, $942 for a 10 Yikes. I feel like that 500 is not that bad. I'm kind of shocked on that one. Let's see what else. And I think how this works is that you, I, anybody can go on Walmart, create a seller account, and then list up sneakers, even if you don't have them. Go on GOAT, go on StockX, go on any platform, and drop ship it. I feel like that's what they're doing here, which is just crazy. I mean, it's, it's perfectly legal. You could totally do it. But... I just don't recommend buying sneakers from Walmart. Oh my goodness, look at these prices for the Fearless Ones. This is a nice pair of Jordan Ones. Ten and a half, six hundred and thirty-three dollars. We know they are not that much. They're like three fifty on StockX. That's crazy. Wow, these prices, man. Insane. Let's take a look. Oh, here we go. We got some Jordan Sixes. I want to take a look at some other Jordans. We'll take a look maybe at a pair of Yeezys as well. So got the black infrared sixes, which have gone up in price, but they're not at $626. Yikes on that one. Clean shoe, I love them, but not for $626. With only one left. Why? Who's actually buying these that there's only one left? Who's buying them for that much money? Why? Don't. <laughs> Go on another platform. Why so much? Ooh! Oh, they got the... Oh, I didn't see these. I would have pulled the trigger on these, although I don't really have them. I don't have them. Uh, I did buy a pair of shoes, like I said, that I do have. But these prices are pretty high. I mean, look at that 11, man. My size. $18.49. Come on, you guys know they're not that much money. I mean, the $11.65 is pretty high. They're getting up there in price. But that's pretty crazy. Wow. Wow. All right, let me take a look. I mean, Walmart does have return policies. Some sellers do, some don't. So I decided to pull the trigger from a seller that does have a return policy. I made sure because I just want them for this video so I can return them. Let's take a look at these off-white ones. It just has the got them. 
Where's the shoe? Did I, you know what, what I don't like about this is that it's stock photos. You can't even really sh see the sneaker that you're actually buying. And they have the got em. I don't know. That's so weird. They got them from the Nike sneakers app as like the front picture. That's so weird. These prices are absolutely insane. Wow. Look at an 11 and a half. Almost five grand for an 11 and a half in the UNC. Off white ones. Wow. These are crazy prices. And pickup is not even available. That's how you know it's getting shipped. There is a return policy, like I said, depending on the seller. So if you are going to purchase on Walmart, I do recommend make sure you purchase with the return policy in case anything does go wrong. But man, these prices are absolutely crazy on walmart.com. So I'm gonna take a look at a pair of Yeezys now. Let's put in the search Yeezy. Let's see what they come up with Yeezys on Walmart. You have to be kidding. You have to be kidding. The first pair is not even a real pair. They look awful. Okay. Yeezy slides for how much? Wow, look at these prices. <laughs> $529 for an 11 in the Yeezy slide. In the earth brown colorway. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, be careful with these prices. Oh my goodness, these prices are absolutely crazy. More Yeezy slides right there. Oh my, no way, does that say $1,200? All the way up to $1,267? For a size 10? Wow. That's not fire at all. That is crazy. Wow, that's so much money. Let's take a look at what I actually did purchase from Walmart. Before we open up the sneakers from Walmart, I need to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Soul Premise. Soul Premise has amazing bags for sneakerheads when they travel. Make sure you guys check out this bag. It is crazy. I'm going to show you guys right now the features of this duffel bag. This is the Soul Premise duffel bag. Let me show you how great this bag is for sneakerheads. So we have the black leather SP logo right there for Soul Premise. Let me show you guys this bag it's sick it's absolutely crazy so right here i have my jordan one japans take those out the other shoes right there and on the other side i have another pair of sneakers guys you can fit so many sneakers in soul premise bags they're made for sneakerheads i have my unc jordan threes right there and check this out look how big this space is you have all this space to put sneakers clothing whatever you're bringing with you for your travel on the inside you have more zippers tons and tons of space with Soul Premise bags, guys. Tons of space. And I can't forget about the outside space, outside zippers of the bag. Guys, check out Soul Premise. I highly recommend their bags. They're great for sneakerheads. So there you guys have it. Make sure you guys check out Soul Premise. Click the link down below in the description. Use my link and make sure you use my discount code, Danny Moore. My name, Danny Moore, will save you 40% off of your order from Soul Premise Bags. So let's open these up. Let's see what Walmart sent over. These actually took over two and a half, almost three weeks now to come in. So it's been a little bit. Let's see what we got. It's been a little over two weeks. I wouldn't say three. I think it's been a little over, just over two weeks. So it's been a little bit, not too bad, but a little while of a wait. Let's see what we got. I'm excited. Okay, the box looks good. There's definitely a pair of sneakers in here from the box, so that's good. If I can get this open. Come on. Damn, they really taped this box, huh? Okay, there we go. Finally cut into it. Let's see what we got. So we do have a brown box. This is a good start. Now, I want to tell you guys how much I paid for these in a second. You're going to be mind blown on how much money I paid for this sneaker. It's just absolutely absurd. So I have to return them. There's no way in hell I am keeping these. There's no way I'm going to even sell them, make money on them. None of that. I have to straight up return them. They were so much money, but you guys know I'm sure what is in this box. I do have a pair behind me, which I will grab in a few minutes. We'll take a look at this pair and we'll see if it looks off, but then we'll compare it to my real pair, 100% real pair that is behind me in my personal sneaker collection. Let's see. So here we got the box lid. Okay. Looking good. What is this? No way. We got a StockX card. They drop ship these from StockX. Probably. It looks that way. Why can't I get this open? There we go. Okay. So the shoes are here. We got a pair of Travis Scott 1s. 
the hide right here. We got shoes from Walmart. They're definitely here. We got some shoes. Let's see the other one. Yeah, these are definitely from StockX. We got the hang tag right there. But I don't see the receipt. No, there's no receipt. So maybe they weren't drop shipped directly from StockX. I'm not sure. There's no receipt in the box. Let's move the box out of the way. Let's take a look at the shoe. I'm excited, man, but I'm a little nervous right now. Although I'm getting my money back, so I'm not really too nervous because there's a return policy. But here they are. The Travis Scott Jordan 1. All right, let's take a look at these. I do have a black light handy. I just keep it in my desk at all times. Um, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous about these. They look okay from what I can tell. Okay. They smell fine. Everything looks okay, but you know what I'm going to do? Let's put these to the test with the black light, and then I'm going to turn around behind me and pull out my real pair. Right now, let's see. I'm not seeing anything. I want to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just taking the black light. And looking for any type of marks, any type of stamping, anything. I'm not seeing anything, so that's a good sign. Let's take a look at the midsole. If you guys have a black light, make sure you guys cop one if you don't. It's a great way to legit check your sneakers. Let's see the shape. The shape of the shoe looks fine. This is a very tough shoe to legit check. So, uh, I'm going to have to pull up my real pair behind me in a minute to make sure. But they look pretty good. Um, I did pay a lot, guys. I'm not going to tell you exactly what I paid, but... Guys, I paid almost, almost, almost four grand for them. I was like, a, like I think two hundred dollars short of four grand, like two hundred and change short of four thousand dollars. Crazy for this sneaker. They're not that expensive. Let me take a look at the other one. They do have all the late, yeah, all the laces are still attached with the stock X tag. Yeah, there's a little X behind that tag. Let me show you guys what I can here. There is a little tag there the little x on the stock x tag itself so that's a good sign i'm not seeing anything wrong with them on the under the black light let me turn around let me pull out my real pair 100 real pair i know 100 legit let me grab that pair behind me and we'll legit check these a little bit more and make sure that these are real i can't wait honestly to get my money back straight up this is so much money but it was worth it, I hope, for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you did down below in the comments. Let me turn around. Let me grab my real pair of Travis Scott's. Here is my real pair. Brand new. Dead stock. Haven't worn them. Right here. Real pair. And here is the pair from Walmart. Two right shoes, in case you guys don't believe me. Two right shoes right there. Let me compare some things right now. And we'll take a look a little bit closer. So this is my real pair of Travis Scott Jordan ones in my personal collection. Take a look at the Wings logo. And then here is the pair from Walmart. Everything looks the same to me. Right there. That looks the same. We also have the swoosh. Looks good. The color of the midsole looks good. It's exactly the same. That sale color. Nike Air on the tongue. Let me show you guys. Looks the same. Yeah, even the back logos look the same. Yeah, I think these are real, man. I do. I do think they're legit. Everything looks exactly the same. Every little detail looks exactly the same with my real pair and the Walmart pair. Let me smell them to make sure. So there's my real pair and here's the Walmart. They smell exactly the same. Fakes do reek over time. They reek really bad when you get them. So they do smell exactly the same. Everything looks good. I'm going to chalk these up as being real from Walmart. However, don't purchase from Walmart if you don't have to. Try to avoid it. Go to other platforms because you're going to be spending so much more money. The markup is crazy. Like I said, anybody can go on Walmart for the most part. Go create a seller account and you could start reselling sneakers, anything really on Walmart. It is a third party at the end of the day. After all, it's not Walmart directly doing it. It's like Amazon, how they have third party sellers. The same thing on Walmart.com. So... I understand, you know, why they have them on the website. There's nothing wrong with it. But as a buyer, be alert and, you know, know what you're buying, know what you're looking at and everything like that. And prices, man, they're crazy prices. Insane. I need to get my money back for this sneaker because this sneaker is not worth like the 37 and change, $3,700 and change that I paid for this pair of sneakers. I'm going to return them, but it's good seeing that I did get a legit pair from Walmart. They look real. Everything looks good. So 
be careful out there. So make sure you guys do your homework, be knowledgeable in the sneaker game, and don't just pay crazy money just because you want the sneaker that bad. You know, become knowledgeable and learn your prices. But yeah, man, everything looks good. These are real. I'm surprised. But with that being said, let me go return these. I need my money back. This was insane of a purchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you guys smash that like button. I do want to get money from this video because I do have to ship them back. I believe I have, might have to pay shipping for them back. So it would help to get some decent views on this video. So make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and let me know, are you going to purchase sneakers from Walmart.com? Let me know down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching.